customer likes caps on the top of their zinc pours because the electrolysis will eat it away. And when it's ate away far enough, they will know it's time to report socket. This is basically just on tow lines, anchor lines, for tugboats, barges. Put a little duct tape around it, make sure it don't fall off when it gets hot. bear shit around the bottom of the socket, flab it right, whatever it's called, and that will keep the zinc from flowing out when I pour both plate. Just put it in there and try to get it up in the groove as best you can. Even after all of this, a lot of times you'll get a little bit of Leap each, you just stop for a half a second and then it hardens up and then you continue with your pour. Put a little duct tape around the bottom of that. That should be good. We are ready, all we need is hot zinc. It's just tinning compound. So let's get some ready here. When it gets close to heat, I'll put some in there. It takes the impurities out of the form itself. I'm liking that, I'm gonna turn the temperature down so it'll hold its heat and then I'm gonna put the tinning compound in probably should have did that already but just takes a little bit not very much it'll make a lot of smoke when I pour the hot zinc in it And again, all that is, is just to help take any impurities that I missed cleaning the wire. There'll be residuals on top. Oh, there it is. All right, we're ready to pour. You ready? I'm ready. All right, let me get that over here. I'm gonna pour it as fast as I can all at once and then I'm going to tap it and get it to settle in. Here we go. That looks good for full. Set this down, let that start cooling off. Get a little tapper here. And as you can see, there's a little bit of stuff on top. I like to scrape that off. Just makes it look like a little bit cleaner pour. And just tap on her, let her settle in. Try to keep the air bubbles out best we can. 
And that's one of the ways you tell it's a good pour, is you get a nice little dimple in the inside, and then you should have zinc on top, but it has went from molten to hard already in the zinc. It'll take the pot a lot longer, because there's a lot more zinc. <laughs> Cleanliness is next to godliness. Clean wire is crucial. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take, uh, this is that poured socket that we were, you got footage of that we were pouring up. This line's going up to the Seattle area for a barge. It's a barge line. What we're doing is we're going to run the socket onto the truck. That way, when we go and spool it onto the barge, the socket is on the outside end. Um, something we do on a regular basis. This is usually how we load all of our trucks. Um, put it on a turntable, run it on. You know, the, the spools are generally pre-counted. Sometimes we'll put a counter on them to get exact footage. But uh, that's pretty much what we're gonna do here is just load up the line truck for tomorrow morning, head it up north to put this on a barge. Um, usually takes two guys, one guy running the spooler and one guy helping spool it on. Um, pretty common day-to-day, -day, everyday type of spooling job that we do and this is how we do it. <laughs>